So in this video, I'm gonna make sure that you guys leave here with a properly working fingerprint sensor that's not only fast, but also consistent and reliable. The method that most people use is good, but it's not the best one. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it and I'll show you guys how to do it. So for this to work, the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and go into your settings. Once you're at your settings, you wanna go ahead and find the, um, the, the menu that allows you to add or remove or change fingerprints. For me, for, for Samsung, it's gonna be biometrics and security located, not even half a swipe down right there. Now you wanna click on fingerprints, you wanna put in your password, and then you actually wanna delete every fingerprint that you have registered already. Once you do that, you wanna click on add fingerprint, click continue, and now this part's a little weird because it's telling you start scanning with the center of your fingertip. You actually do not want to do that. You don't want to scan with just the center of your fingerprint because sometimes whenever you pull out your phone and you're in a hurry to unlock it, you're not exactly hitting the center. Sometimes your thumb is all the way over here. Sometimes your thumb is down here a little bit, sometimes over here. So that's exactly how you want to scan the fingerprint. Simple, right? So let me go ahead and show you guys. So first you want to scan a little bit up. Now you're probably going to get this message. Don't worry. Just move your finger a little bit down, then move a little bit to the right, then a little bit down, then a little bit to the left, then up, then right, down. Now this method is going to take a little bit longer to register because you have to do with these annoying um, pop-ups. And now we can go ahead and register the other hand, same exact method. And now that you guys have set up both fingerprints, you can actually test this out on your own. Now, keep in mind, I am actually using a glass screen protector on my S22 Ultra. Now, if as you guys know, maybe you don't know, glass and fingerprint sensors don't really w uh, work as well. Uh, so if, this, if, if I did not have uh, a screen protector on the phone, this would be even faster. So let me go ahead and try hitting a little bit higher than the fingerprint sensor area. And it worked. Now let me go ahead and hit a little bit to the right. And that worked as well. Now a little bit down, that worked. Now a little bit to the left, and that worked. So now whenever you pull out your phone, you don't have to really be cautious about where the fingerprint sensor is. You just put your thumb down anywhere near that area and it will unlock. As you guys saw, I put it a little bit even further away. That actually sur uh, surprised me that it unlocked. Let me try that again. Yeah, and again, keep in mind, I have a glass screen protector on my phone, so if you don't have any screen protector on your phone or if you're using a TPU kind of plasticky style one, this method will be even faster and even more reliable. Now let's try the other fingerprint. Now let's try with the screen off. And there you go. So guys, that is basically it. That's how you set up your fingerprint sensor. Hopefully you followed along and hopefully your fingerprint sensor is now better than it was before this video. If it was, definitely leave me a comment and let me know. And also do hit that uh, like button as it helps the YouTube algorithm. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. This was Mark from Markstech. Adios.